TitleMatchNetwork.com. Marty Jannetty is an underrated great, no question about it. He is an underrated great, and to me, oh, do we have to start the match with a hug? I thought we were at a wrestling show. I didn't realize I was at the latest Rachel McAdams, or whatever her name is, movie. A hug is how we start this match. It's Balls Mahoney, for goodness. That's a legend. That's Marty Jannetty right there, for God's sake, man. Show a little respect. I know who the guy is, but I didn't see him. You know what? If he had started that barbershop window, that was the last time he hugged one of his, uh, his co-workers, wow. wasn't it? Well, well said. Somebody like Marty Jannetty. Finally, he's learned. Don't turn the other cheek. Smack it. Certainly a different start than I expected from Marty Jannetty, but the early advantage goes to Balls Mahoney, who we know is down to fight dirty. Those right can do hands. Oh! You do not want to be on the receiving end of one of those right hands. You will not eat solid food for about three to four days. Dare I say that's vintage Balls Mahoney. And Balls Mahoney, who promised he wouldn't get near Sam Roberts. I told him not to. Okay. Oh, good God. Ball, Balls Mahoney grabs a soda oh, can. This is, a, this is an expensive jacket. Oh, God. Don't let that coat get near Sam Roberts. We don't want to see your jacket get messed up, Sam. Does Balls Mahoney is not a diet soda drinker. No, no. Balls definitely a fan of the Coke Classic. Oh, Marty's a Sprite guy. Uh, Ash, I thought as part of your return, they promised there would be no coke near you tonight. That is very, very true. Only can form. Only can form. All right. Very good. Now, of course, this match, no DQ, and you're seeing it very early. Oh! A DDT from Marty Jannetty to Balls Mahoney outside the ring. And Sam Roberts, tell me how excited you are to see this new side of Marty Jannetty. Marty Jannetty has learned, he's studied Balls Mahoney, which Balls Mahoney has never studied anything. So right there is an advantage to Marty Jannetty. He's learning how to wrestle. This is what makes Marty Jannetty a legend, okay? He can wrestle in any style of match. This isn't an 80s style match. This is a 2012 match, and Marty Jannetty is shining. See, speaking as someone who was in the ring in the 2000s, both me and Timmy will definitely say that a guy like Marty Jannetty, when you're not the size of a guy like Balls Mahoney, is a guy you look up to. And I think that here, Marty Jannetty is definitely showing a side of himself that we have not seen. We've always seen him as the charismatic, the high flyer. But look at him with the steel chair in his hand, and Balls just asking for it! This doesn't make any sense as a competitor. This is the dumbest strategy I've ever heard. Why would a man sit there and ask another man to hit him over the head with a foreign object? This is Balls Mahoney's weakness. He's as dumb as they come. Listen, I do not like to agree. Hold on a quick count. Leg on the rope from Balls Mahoney. I don't like to agree with Sam Roberts, but I do have to say a questionable strategy to ask for a chair shot early in a match. Balls with a quick roll up. And that's it. He had the tights. 
That can't be three. He had the tights. Yeah, there, there were definitely tights involved. That's what I just said. Ring the bell. He's saying to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, come on. I, I don't think this is what the fans, Balls Mahoney. Uh, this is a sort of questionable Marty engineer. Jenny, it seemed like there was a handful of tights. Balls wanted to make Marty bleed. Oh. Did so Balls just. Then, hold on. He's on a fan. Hold on, guys. I'm I'm sitting here ringside. Did Balls Mahoney just yak during the match? Um, that's the man you're cheering for, ladies and gentlemen. A man who regurgitates onto you. No, no, that was drops. Hold he on. That that was um. Let the man talk. Hold on. Uh, where, where is Pat Buck right now? That's my question because I have to say, pretty shocking behavior. Very true. I think Balls is trying to lick up his spit. Oh my God, what is happening here? Um, I got it, I got it, guys. I can see him, I can see him. Oh my God, this is a moment I've never seen in pro wrestling. Okay, this is... The only shots Giannetti should share with Balls Mahoney right now are chair shots. Not vodka or tequila. He doesn't want to walk on the floor. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what about Marty Giannetti and about Jerry Lynn. I'll tell you in one second. Now listen, there are people out there who will tell you that Marty Jannetty is the Art Garfunkel of the wrestling business. See, I, I would... I, I would disagree, though. I would say Sid Barrett. I would definitely say Sid Barrett. But Marty Jannetty, a great performer in his own right. All, and I'll tell you what, fantastic shape for the age that he's in right now. Although I don't know if anyone's in better an age for their shape than Jerry Lynn. I mean, you're right, Pete. Like, this may be match of the night as in terms of singles matches, but it also has the highest combined age of the night. So that is a testament to how amazing these two are as professional wrestlers. No, these, these guys are both amazing, and I just received word right now that Marty Jannetty is going to be starring in Inner Space 2. Taking over where Martin Short left off. A striking resemblance to the great Martin Short. That, that is true. Now, will he be doing uh, the click thing? We'll see. So possibly Marty Jannetty in a fat suit. You never know what's going to happen. Right now, he's just having fun with the audience. And here we go. Time to lock up two legends of this business. Marty Jannetty and Jerry Lynn, who's in the midst of his retirement tour. Marty Jannetty treating this like he's Mitt Romney. All he wants is cheers and acceptance. Putting his hands up like that. Look at it. He's pointing them, he's pointing Jerry, he's pointing them, he's pointing Jerry. Them, Jerry, them, Jerry. It's too confusing for even me to follow. You would think. This is our interactive portion of the evening, guys. You know what? Jerry Lynn has had enough. Tries to wrap up Marty in a small package, does it happen? And now it appears to be go time between two legends. You would think from the way we started here it was the Marty Jannetty farewell tour. However, it is not. It is the Jerry Lynn farewell tour. And here's our lockup. And it starts things off with Marty Jannetty having Jerry Lynn in a headlock. I mean, and that shirt that Marty Jannetty is wearing says it all. Old school. Old school is right. Marty Jannetty a name. Nice segue into the drop toe hold. 
Front face lock. Front face lock by Lynn. Janetti rolls through. Lynn rolls through. Janetti rolls through. The crowd likes what they see. No, it's like a fine match to Japan. The crowd appreciating an exchange of holes. And they lock up yet again. Now, you have to remember here, Marty Janetti is a guy who really was featured on television only really through the early 90s. After the early 90s, we've seen him sparingly, but when you do see him, he's incredibly beloved and always in fantastic shape. Exactly. You see, the common thought process was always that because Shawn Michaels got the bigger push, Shawn Michaels is a better worker. I think that the biggest shame in Marty Jannetty's career was never being able to truly get that, rock, that rocket strapped to his back and be given the ball and run with it like Sean Michaels did. Because Marty is an incredibly accomplished technical wrestler, a great high flyer. I mean, the two of these guys, if you really want to think about it, the cruiserweight divisions in most of the companies in the world would not exist if not for guys like Jerry Lynn and Marty Jannetty. Absolutely well said. It's funny, It's a. I guess if, if you were to ask Marty Jannetty, I wonder if he'd tell you it was a gift and a curse working, working with one of the best of all time and Shawn Michaels. He got to have such a run with him, but at the same time, was really sort of not regarded in the same way he should have been because of the fact that he was working next to Shawn, not only because he was so great, but like you said, because of the fact that Shawn was given the opportunity that he was given, and for whatever reason, Marty wasn't. And I don't think it was because anyone thought he wasn't talented. It was just because people thought Shawn Michaels was that good. Interesting to think what would have happened with Marty Jannetty had he been in a different place. Absolutely. I mean, one of the most infamous angles ever shot to this day was when Shawn Michaels threw Marty Jannetty through a barbershop window. Super kicking him through that window. I mean, just a classic moment in history. And at around the same time, a guy by the name of Jerry Lynn started having these matches with a guy by the name of, of Lightning Kid who would then go on to be the one, two, three kid to be Xbox, so on and so forth, in global. I mean, it's almost as if when one career ended, or not ended, slowed down, the other began to speed up. Jerry Lynn has competed all over the world. He's held titles in literally every company that he has been in, with the exception of Pro Wrestling Syndicate. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him make one more run for some gold here before he calls it a night. For his wrestling team. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing to see here at Pro Wrestling Syndicate as Jerry Lynn and Marty Jenny step back once again and uh, reapproach the situation? How tremendous would it be if we had the opportunity to see Jerry Lynn maybe say a month down the road from now when we're back here again to see him get another opportunity at a title this time right here in Pro Wrestling Syndicate? But right now, I'll tell you what, Jerry Lynn's not thinking about a, a title, he's thinking about not getting his. Stomach hammered by the big dome of Marty Jannetty, who sends Jerry Lynn in the hard way. Those buckles, I mean, between Teddy, Marty, and uh, Teddy, Jerry Lynn, as well as some of the guys in that tag team gauntlet, these buckles seem uncharacteristically hard to take. They do. On sight, it doesn't look that bad, but it seems like everyone who's gone into those buckles has come out worse than wear. Speaking of which, boom. In goes Marty Jannetty. Jerry Lynn's taking Jannetty around the world. I think Jannetty's nose is busted open. I, I think Jannetty might actually have a little... Oh! He may be right. Caught him with a little throat thrust. I don't know if it's busted open, but it's certainly bright red. Nice up and over. Big right. Uh-oh. And I was going to say into the turn... Oh! Jannetty goes into the turnbuckle. Rebound drop kick, Jerry Lynn sending Marty Jannetty to the floor. Tell you what, it's just what I like to call good old fashioned professional wrestling that we're seeing. And uh oh, baseball slide, no. <laughs> Marty Jannetty forced it to get out of the way. And, oh, Marty up and over with the Biscotto. I, Marty Jannetty lunging his. What, nearly 50-year-old body over those ropes? I think actually over 50. Over 50. He was the older of the two rockers. I'm not completely sure. That's yes, you're absolutely right, Pete. I mean, the intensity and athleticism that Marty is showing tonight shows that no matter how old he is, he still wants it. 
Jerry Lynn, a man who has held world titles late into his career. Beating Mario Gennetti is just another notch in his belt. So I, I don't think it's going to be a matter of who's better. I think it's going to be a matter of who's in better condition. I'll tell you what, you are a wise man. Uh, Marty Gennetti, 52 years old, actually. I'll tell you what, my dad wasn't flying around like this at 52 years old. Not at all. Mine had a hunting rifle, and that was about it. These two, on the other hand, I mean, you got to think, Jerry Lynn, many claim the movie The Wrestler was based on him. You have to say there is a a resemblance. However, if, if the movie The Wrestler was based on Jerry Lynn, there would be something that was inaccurate, and that is Jerry Lynn, not a sad figure at all in wrestling. A guy who's done quite well for himself, mentally does quite well. Oh, absolutely right. You know, Jerry... <laughs> One of those guys that I always like to say sets an example for the rest of the locker room, but he really does. You will never catch Jerry Lynn in a situation that would make him uncomfortable, that would warrant him feeling a certain way about anything. I mean, in the ring, one of the most ruthless, oh, when he wants to be amazing technicians, outside the room, one of the chillest, most relaxed dudes in the world. Absolutely. You know, I think people would be surprised to see how much unlike uh, Jerry Lynn uh, is to the uh, Randy the Ram character in, in The Wrestler. I, I think there's very little resemblance besides maybe the uh, sorts of places he's performed in this stage of his career and, and physically what he looks like. That's very true. But Jerry Lynn, I'll tell you what, maybe going for a ride right now. Indeed he is. Straight into that top turnbuckle, courtesy of Marty Jannetty. Slingshot into the top turnbuckle. Oh, boots to the face from Jerry Lynn. Oh! Wow. My God. Lovely tornado DDT. I just... There's the cover after the tornado. Not exactly what you call an emphatic kick out from Marty Jannetty, but he's alive nonetheless. Absolutely. Pete, this one. Uh, Lynn went for the cradle pile driver. Janetti blocks it. Ooh, cord buster. Hold on. Janetti going up. One rope, two ropes. I'm guessing it'll stop there, too. Nope, Jerry Lynn not having it. Nice DDT by Janetti. Janetti, you know, I don't want to say his name was tarnished because it wasn't, but he was always known as the other guy in the Rockers. But honestly, I think that through the history books, he should be looked at as Marty Janetti. But regardless of that, Jerry Lynn picking up the win. And I'll tell you what, that was uh, it was a very important win for, for Jerry Lynn. If he does, you know, and I'm just speculating with you here, but if he does have aspirations of getting himself in the title picture here at Pro Wrestling Syndicate, that was a very important win. He has to beat, you know, no disrespect, but he has to beat who, so, someone who's in an advanced stage of their career like Marty Jannetty. He absolutely has to if he wants to end up in the title picture. You are absolutely right about that. I mean... The mutual respect by the, between the two of them is there, but at the end of the day, there's only one PWS belt, and that's the world title, and that currently is held by Sammy Callahan, who we're gonna see later on tonight. Well said, well said. And now Jerry Lynn takes the mic. I just wanna say tonight,
TitleMatchNetwork.com.